can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know you see this. You know you see this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, Father, we are about to just remain in your seat. Father, we are about to go into a place, a place where one of us can't be missing. All of us got to go to this place together. We are the body of the spirit of Jesus. Hello, somebody. And right now, if you ain't a part of the body, that means you are nobody right now. And we know that, we know that there's nobody in here that's a nobody. Hello, somebody. So right now, Lord, let us enter into the apostolic. And as we enter into the apostolic, Lord, we're gonna we're gonna start speaking in tongues in the spirit. We're gonna start hearing things that we don't even know, know we can think about. Come on, somebody. We're gonna start. We're gonna we're gonna feel power coming through our bodies that that we never felt before. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna receive what God said. We have to receive it in fullness tonight. We're gonna, we're gonna do it, Lord, because I, 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 you told me that when the disciples, when, when the disciples went in too, come on, somebody, when the disciples went in too, He said the people were speaking in unknown languages. Come on, the people were speaking languages they didn't even know they knew. Come on, somebody. So what I'm trying to tell you right now, let your spirit free tonight. Yeah, we always talk about free this one and free that one, but I tell you, free the spirit of God which is in you tonight. Thank you right now, Lord. As you get ready to show us a part of heaven, somebody tell me that we've never seen before. Never, come on, get ready to see a part of heaven that we've never seen before. We get ready to see a part of heaven that we've never seen before. Uh, in that part of heaven, there's a healing that you've never witnessed. Come on, somebody. Yeah. In that part of heaven, there's a salvation that you don't even know about. In that part of heaven, there's yes. a peace. Yes, Lord. Mm -mm -mm, that this yes, world can't give Lord. you. I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And the church said amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All week, you know, I've been calling Pastor me and Pastor been talking and, and I've been asking God. I said, Lord, you ain't gave us a title for the revival. And the pastor told me last week, he says, he says a healing revival. And then God told me today, I want you to title this, 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 this revival, the secret revival. Amen. The secret revival. God is going to release the secret of his peace. He's going to release the secret of his love. But above all, he's going to release what's keeping us from that peace and what's keeping us from that love. We all need healing. Come on, somebody. We all need healing. Hello, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. The secret revival. Come on, everybody say, the, the secret, secret revival. revival. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. You ain't got no secrets from God. You ain't got no secrets from God. But God got some secrets for you, baby. God got some secrets for you. Amen. He got some secrets for you. So, um, our scripture reading tonight is going to be coming from the book of James. I, I know I didn't have my, I, I called myself, I said, I don't need my other pad. <laughs> and I didn't bring it. So y'all got, I, huh? No, I'm good. No, I got, I got a pad, but I, didn't have, I don't have my surface. The one I print out. You all look pretty writing for y'all and all that. But um, I could have wrote it, though. I, I, I handwriting writing pretty good. But the secret revival, James 5, 14 through 18. 14 through 18. So if you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to James 5, 14 through 18. 14 through 18. I want to thank everybody that made this possible tonight. Started with Pastor Jimmy Bryant. Give him a hand, everybody. Woo! Amen. See, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't water the flower, you don't water a flower, then not let it grow. Uh -huh. You don't water a flower, then step on it. When people come into the church, we water them and then unaware we step on them. We don't give them room to blossom. My God. And we just gotta give this man room because he's one gifted, he's one gifted man sent by God. Amen. 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 Let's hear it one time for our mighty pastor, Nisa. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I told her to do Mondays. I'm 
I told her to do Monday's on Wake Up With Jesus for me, but I'm glad she got to work tomorrow because she almost uh, stole, my, stole my people. <laughs> so I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad God said, no, we ain't going to let us do back to back. They might not want you no more. <laughs> But I thank God for you, my daughter. I truly do. And, 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 and as we said this morning, y'all all need to stand to your feet and thank God for the path. Um, 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 path did I say path? Yeah. Thank God for you. Let Lady Helen, Helen, not Amen. leaving me when she should have left me. So we should do that tonight. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Y'all just got carried away. I can't. I, now y'all have heard me say don't look for it no more. <laughs> I thank God for all of you being here tonight. Um, uh, you know, every, I'm, I'm always reading a book. Any time in my life, I don't care if my wife will tell you, I, there's not a time in my life that I'm not in the process of reading a book. And right now I'm reading this book by T.D. Jakes, it is so hard to read new books. Because in new books, you have to get past the commercialism. You have to get past the, they wanting to be uh, on, the, on the number one bestsellers list. So you have to get past all this hard reading new authors. But God put this in my spirit to read it. And, and tonight, um, as, I was, as I was reading today, he wanted me to read a, a little bit of this, and then we're going to get into the scripture. I'm not taking credit for what I'm reading. This book is about... T.D. Jakes, and it's called, the title of the book is called The Crushing, very good book. Talks about how God crushes us so the, so the wine can come out. Mm. Talks about how God crushes us. And, and, and you, can't get, you can't get wine unless you crush the grapes. Come on, somebody. And God said, I, I, I can't make you, I said, God said, I can't make you mine unless you let me crush you. I can't make you mine unless you accept my question. Hello, somebody. Amen. Yeah, yeah, but we don't want to be crushed, but we want to be God's. Come on, somebody. My Lord. Hello, somebody. God said, I'm going to squeeze you. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah I'm going to squeeze you to, to, to you. To, and this is what this is the thing about God, uh, Mr. Irma. He squeezed you till you can't stand it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He'll squeeze you till you can't stand it. He yeah. said, so I need to squeeze it. Say, Lord, squeeze me. Lord, squeeze me. Yes, yes, yes. So what he gonna do? He'll squeeze all that world out of you. But, yes. but, but when he when he when he when it comes out of your mother, he's gonna do the same thing he squeezed out of you to taste good to somebody who's in what you was in. Come on, somebody. Yes. He's gonna do the same thing he squeezed out of you. Come on now. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, I'm gonna read this to you. Then I wanna get into this. I won't be before you long. I'll be I'll be with you as long as God tells me, Joseph. Amen. This particular section, I like books when I when I read books, the New Living Translation Bible got me all set up because I like books that break, break things up in sections. And this particular section says, a king on the move. A king on the move. I'm just going to read part of it. It says, we must remember that making a wine is a process. Give me a little volume, man, because I don't want to I don't want to scream. Just a teeny wee bit. It says, we must remember that the making of wine is a process. Because of that thought, without hesitation or doubt. I can honestly tell you that God's relocation of you to a place of solitude is so that he can prepare you to do what he has called you to do. If you're looking around at the various aspects of your life and see, oh, this is a big old word right now. It's a big old word, girl. It's a big old word. Ubiquitous, ubiquitous isolation, uh, seclusion, Know that you are being groomed for something special. My God. If he got you in a, a, a situation that you feel like you can't, you shouldn't be in, in order to be what he needs, what you want to be for him, right. he said, I put you there for make to make to groom you for something special. And and the master wants to interfere in the process. Unfortunately. Detachment often carries a certain degree of pain. Another uncertain degree of pain. Because each of us, on some level, requires intera interaction with another human being. After all, even the master says it's not good for man to be permanently alone. Thankfully, in those moments, we are, we are to ourselves God's habit communicating with us shows itself. I've already 
just shared some of my personal instances of being up at night trying to wrap my head around challenging circumstances. But in addition to thinking, feeling, and grieving over the situation that resulted in my restlessness, sleepless nights, I also experienced something else. After getting tired of pacing, I would quiet myself and listen out for God's still, small voice of direction or correction. God never failed to speak to me. Oh, he might have waited to do so, but he has never stopped communicating with me. Rather, I discovered that I had not allowed God to be God. God to be what? God. I had not allowed God to be God and communicate with me in the manner he thought was best for the moment. After silencing the loud angst of my mind, I would hear him speak words of peace to my troubled soul and provide steps that once executed would cause me to wonder why I had worried so much in the first place. I'm telling you that there is something about God's presence and his ability to impart wisdom, identity, and peace to those times of uncertainty. I, I don't know about y'all. I need some secrets from God. I need some secrets from God. I've heard man preach to me over and over and, and then they can put a spin on this scripture and put a spin on that scripture. I don't know about you, but but, but it ain't nothing like when somebody tells you a secret. My God, yeah. And I like it when somebody tells me a secret. Yes. And when they tell me a secret, and when, when I tell you a secret, I'm going to tell you, don't tell nobody. But when God tells you a secret, he's going to tell you, shout it from the rooftop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you tell a man that's telling you a secret, he's going to tell you, don't you tell him I told you. But when God tells you a secret, my God, my God. when he tells you something you've never heard before, He's going to tell you, tell somebody that you know somebody that told you something that you ain't never heard from nobody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Tell somebody that you know somebody that told you something that you never heard My God. from nobody. Yes. I need you right now to understand that there are that we are we are we're in places because there's something that uh, Jesus just told us that we can only get from wisdom. And see, and I heard God say in the book of Proverbs, he, he, he referred to wisdom as her. And Pastor Nisa, Pastor Nisa, I'm sitting here, I'm saying, why in the world, what is going on? But I remember what that God said in the beginning. Uh -huh. I created both male yeah. from somebody yeah. and female. So yeah. he says, you know, brothers, you got to get a little sensitive. You understand? Because without sensitivity, there is no wisdom. Come on now. Yeah. You got to be a little sensitive. But see, we, we, we don't want to be sensitive. We want to be emotional. Mm, see, God. you see me crying. I ain't crying because I'm emotional. I'm crying because I'm a little sensitive. <laughs> it's all right to be a little sensitive. Yes, it is. Hello, somebody. Yes, it is. Sensitivity will get you, sensitivity will get you on your knees and beg the woman that you left to come back to you, knowing she's going to dog you for two or three years. You know she's going to whoop you good for two or three years. You know you won't get this whooping. Come on, somebody. Sensitivity will make you get on your knees in church and say, will you marry me? She'll tell you no, and then you, then you don't give up because you're, you're sensitive. Did you, Richard? Amen. I said, Lord, that person, this, this lady, I said, did that lady just tell the brother no in front of all the church folk? Oh, I, I told her, I said, now, you know what, did you, Richard? She ain't going to say no in front of the church. He said, Bishop, I want to ask her to marry me, but I don't know how to ask her to marry me. I say, I say, Deacon Richard, ask her in front of the church. I said, dog, I want this woman this no, thing. <laughs> but, but somebody say, what Richard couldn't do, God did. Come on, somebody. What Richard couldn't do, God did. Come on, somebody. Amen. Stand me right now. She, boy, look at me. She ain't going to say nothing on Wake Up With Jesus for the rest of the week. <laughs> Are we all right? My brother, you enjoying yourself? I'm glad you came, man. 
the scripture reading James 5, 14 through 14 through 18. The first sentence is a question. It says, are any of you sick? I should have named it that. Are any of you sick? Are any of you sick? When you think you ain't sick, you really sick. All of us are sick. Even if your body feeling good, somebody come get on your nerves and you'll be sick of them. Come on, somebody. There's some sickness in all of us. Come on, somebody. Even when you're feeling good, mother, you have been feeling good, and, and the bishop will say something that just, he just make me sick. <laughs> Are any of you sick? Then God tells you how to get healed. But we don't want to receive it because we want, we're trying to understand it rather than get the revelation of it. Come on, somebody. God put the book of Revelation in the back. Because it, 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 it is the conclusion of the matter. And the conclusion of the matter is God must reveal. Yeah, come on now. It's a, so as we, as we go through every book in the Bible now, we, we, we go with, with seeking the reveal of who? God. And when we ain't seeking the reveal of God, we must be sick. <laughs> We're seeking the reveal of God. Come on now. Amen. And he says here, are you, are any of you sick? You should call on the elders of the church to come and pray over you. So, uh, 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 um, I wish he was here tonight. I met a 10 year old elder in the church. And, and, and he said, he said, the Lord loves everybody, but everybody don't love God. That was what TJ said one night. In that moment, he was a what? Elder. At 10. Uh -huh. 10 years old. 10 years old, he said, the Lord loves everybody, but, but Bishop, everybody don't love God. My God. So what I'm trying to say to you, when you hear wisdom, you're, you, 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 you're witnessing an elder sent by God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. It, it says I'm speaking to those that, that have accepted the wisdom, watch this, beyond their years. My Lord. I'm sitting here, I'm saying, Lord, why are you letting me flourish at 65? And he said, because in most cases, I prepare them for what I have for them. But he said, in your case, I'm preparing you, I'm preparing, I'm preparing it for you. Amen. Come on. Anybody hear me? Amen. Now listen to this. Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, yes. anointing you with, the, with oil in the name of the Lord, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. And it says, such prayer offered in faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will make you well. And if you committed any sins, you will be given. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Huh? Amen. Pray for each other uh -huh. so that you may be healed. Yes. Amen. There's a process. The elder, oil, but the reveal comes from you praying for those you don't want to pray for. Pray for each other so that you may be healed because that what you don't want to pray for is making you sick. That what you don't want to pray for is making you sick. Yes. Unaware. Yes. There's a process here. I'm giving you a secret that we've read a thousand times but we've already tried to analyze it with our minds instead of letting it reveal from the revelation. Of God come to us. Amen? Amen. It says confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces 
wonderful results, i.e. Will Smith. Elijah was as human as we are, yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall, none fell for three years, three and a half years. Then when he prayed again, the sky sent down rain and the earth began to yield crops. Somebody say secret. Secret. I want you to know the secret is that we're sick. And, 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 and this is the problem, Pastor Bishop. Pastor, and the problem is that, that even, when we, even when we admit we're sick, we'll tell somebody, I ain't sick as you. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, Bishop, I'm sick, but I, I ain't sick as mother, mother, mother. I'm, I'm all right, Pastor, I'm sick, but I ain't sick as him. Amen. Baby, sick is sick. Amen. Huh? See, one thing about sickness. <laughs> It, one thing about sin, it's going to grow that way or it's going to grow that way. Hello, somebody. Without faith, it's going to grow that way. And without faith, it's going to kill you. With faith, it's going to heal you. Come on, somebody. Now, now, today, are you being killed by you or being healed by you? Come on, somebody. The secret is, without faith, it's going to kill me. With faith, I am going to live a healed life. Watch this. Watch this. With the secret. God said, I can't let you get well. Because when you get well, now you won't seek your done. Huh? I can't let you get well. Because y'all, you see, as long as I'm well, I ain't looking for, I consider myself already done. That's, a, that's what's going on with a lot of us. We, we, we think that now that we, we got this or we got that, we think we're done. We're not, we, because I'm a bishop or apostle, I, I think I'm done. I, I can't go no higher, baby. No. Come on. Every time God gave me another title, He, he lowered me, not, not raised me. Come on. All right now, come on. See, because every time you get a title from God, He trusts you the more down there. Come on, somebody. Ooh, come on now. Every time you get elevated by God, the elevation ain't like an elevator. He take, his elevation take, brings you up here, let you know I trust you, then I title you to go. Down, down there. there. Come you know what I'm trying to tell you Come right now. Come on down now. Uh, so, so, so be careful what you pray for. Yes, hey. Be careful what you ask that you don't ask for that you don't understand. Yes. So as we hear this, you are as human as Elijah. My God. And God made the point that whatever Elijah wanted, I gave it to him. Yes. Whatever you want, God said, I'll give it to you. But you got to be willing to listen to those that I'm speaking through in an area where they're wiser than you. Amen. Anybody hear me right now? Amen. Uh, I could have I told Pastor Jimmy, man, I don't want to know. He said, he came to me, he said, he said, Bishop, we need a revival. Because we're getting ready to do a, 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 something with the men. He said, I, I, want, I, I, I just don't want the men to come in and be stale. He said, before we do this with the men, I want to I want I want I want to revive in spirit in the church. Amen. And, and, and I received that. Amen. I didn't tell him, yeah, y'all know how y'all live. If it ain't your idea, it ain't a good idea. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Oh, y'all don't like me right now. Y'all don't like me right now. But confess, somebody say confess the truth. Confess the truth. And, 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 and the truth that you don't want to confess is the truth that's keeping you from God and instead of you think you're hiding from God, you're hiding God. Come on somebody. Amen. Confess the truth. So as we hear this tonight, he said very plain, this is the order. If I'm sick, seek somebody wiser than me in the spirit. Amen. I go to the doctor maybe once, twice a year. If I go to him. And, pre and Pastor Lisa say, you need to get to the doctor. And then by the, by, the, by, the, by the 20th time she said, I go. Because my thing is, I'm all right being sick. I like walking around sick. So I can, you, you, you can't feel the healing. Somebody said you can't feel the healing. You can't feel the healing. If, except you're in the sickness. 
See, y'all want to get well and come out of sickness, but I want to stay with the one that's doing the healing. Amen. I don't mind being sick. Hello, somebody. Amen. So I don't mind being sick because I know if I'm living through my sickness, I ain't, it ain't no doctor doing it. Come on, somebody. If I'm living through my sickness, I know it ain't nothing I came up with. Uh, my, 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 my lady, she got them old-fashioned remedies, but sometimes maybe I come to tell you, ain't nothing old-fashioned but better than a right now, God. Amen. I need to know the secret to being healed is to come out of letting people make me sick. Amen. If I'm going to be sick, it's going to be because it's going to be because God made me sick. If I'm going to be sick, it's going to be a sickness that God put on me. So, so when He brings me out, those that are were sick in the area that I that I that He made me sick in, I can show them that He's a healer right here. God is healing your mind. He's restoring the way you see things. No matter what's going on in your life, see God. See God. Don't see the pain. The greater the pain is, the closer you are to God. Why? Because you're living through it. The greater the pain is. But what we do when we get the pain, we, we let the devil tell us God mad at us. We let the devil tell us, he picking on me. Baby, he ain't picking on you, he picking you out. He picking you out because there's a trust. There's a trust that God has for you that you're not even aware of. But you can't find it. Unless you admit you're sick. Tell your neighbor. Tell your friends. Tell your family. I'm sick. And I need God. I need God to make me think the same. Whether I feel good. I don't feel good. Amen. I'm still God's child. Amen. And if I know I'm God's child, I know that love created me. Amen. Love allowed me to think like the world wanted me to think. And when love allowed me to think like the world wanted me to think, it the world made me sick. Watch this now. Amen. Sick and tired of God. Unaware. Amen. The truth be told, none of y'all got what you want right now. To be told, there's some people, there's some people that in your life right now that they gonna be here at the end of this year that you're gonna wish they were still here. Amen. Hug them right now. Amen. Embrace Amen. them right now. Amen. Don't let them be. Go don't let when they leave make you sick because you get sick because you feel like you didn't do enough. Come on, somebody. Amen. I come to tell you right now. Look around the church. Because next year, there's no guarantee that this church will, will look the same. The sign might be there. The TV screen might be there. But I might not be here. Look around. And don't let what's not in your life make you what? Don't let what's not in your life make you sick. That's all that's going on. I'm letting my pain tell me that God is mad with me. I'm letting my pain tell me that I done did something wrong and, and God is not pleased with me. But I come to tell you God is a God of opposite. When the devil tells you God is mad with you, that's when he's thrilled with you. If you keep serving. Whatever you do, serve your way out of it. God put you there to grow. But the problem with growing is before you can grow, before you can grow, before you can grow, you got to be covered up. None of, none of us want to be covered up. He said, if I plant one seed, many will grow. One, one Jesus died. But now we all know that God is in all of us. Come on, somebody. So all I'm trying to tell you tonight, and I'm not going to hold you because I want you to know the secret is this. When somebody speaks wisdom unto you, oh my God, stop looking at the movie. My, my wife likes to look at movies over and over. Over and over. 
And when you keep replaying movies, you can't hear what God is saying from a movie that you already know. I don't know Sister Gwen as well as I know Dr. Joe. But I know one thing. I know God, whether he coming from Sister Gwen or Deacon Joe. And he's coming to tell you tonight, you are sick, and when you know you're sick, you're not sick. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Anybody hear me? Amen. You are sick. He said, are, are any of you what? What was the question? Are any of you sick? Everybody say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Now you've taken away the power of Satan. When you, tell, when you tell him what he's trying to use against you that you already know that you're that, now where are you going to go? Amen. He's got to flee. Anybody hear me? Amen. Because your sickness is where he gonna, he's going to be empowered. Your sickness is what's going to make you feel weak. And I'm, I love it when I'm weak because I know there are angels like you that he has sent to make me strong. There's nothing too hard. Nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. We always like to say the God that we serve. But I come to tell you tonight, there's no nothing impossible for the God that you are. You are God. Y'all know my favorite scripture in the Bible. John 10 and 34. I say to certain leaders, it is written in your own scriptures, ye are God with the little G. There's nothing impossible. And the more you grow into knowing who you are, the harder he fights to keep you from the place where you grow. God placed you in this vineyard called the Spirit of Jesus. He placed you here. You, he placed you here. You can, you can throw seeds, you can throw seeds, and this is the problem with the world. Nobody's teaching the grower. Who is the grower? The one that gave it life to grow. Nobody's teaching God. Everybody wants to teach Jesus. Everybody wants to teach the Bible. But at some point, you got to meet the one that's going to make you grow. God gave you life for you to grow out of your feelings. Come on, somebody. God gave you life for you to grow out of your emotions. Come on, somebody. He gave you life to grow out of this flesh. Yes. You are spirit. When you put that watermelon seed in the ground, and so you tell somebody that you put a seed in the ground, you can't see it. But one day, if you, if you take care of it and you nourish it, it's going to grow and, and bear watermelons, yes. mangoes, oranges. And I come to tell you, you are nothing but ground. You are accumulated dust that turns into dirt. And when God meshes it together, it comes out of the flesh. So you are dirt that the Spirit is supposed to grow out of. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of His image. The Spirit of love. The secret is... I am sick, devil. What else you want to tell me? Now that I'm sick, I've been made sick to what? Grow out of being afraid of anything but losing God. I might leave you. But who you still got? God. The children might leave you, but who you still got? God. I ain't said that. I said literally leave you. Ain't nothing ain't nothing more disheartening than when a child grows up and, and, and they don't respond the way you taught them to respond. They have love. And without God, you got a problem. You, you won't admit your sickness. Your sickness is you won't turn over what belongs to God to who? you still got God. As long as I got God, whatever God takes away from me, 
will make me appreciate my sickness. Are any of you sick tonight? Let God send somebody your way. That's wild. And, and God told me to call my nephew tonight. He said, you're going to get healed tonight. Pastor Nisi, her back cracked when she was trying to save somebody's life. She thought she was saving somebody's life. But God let that person lose breath, not breathe, so she could overexert herself, crack her back. Now she's just in the recovery room. If she don't see let the pain tell her it got worse. No, baby. When you come out of surgery, the pain is worse. But you know that God is working on you and you are recovering. Amen. Pastor Nisa's is in the recovery room. She admitted that her back was hurting. She admitted her back was giving her all kind of trouble. Do you know how long? At first it was a hip. Now it's going from the hip to the back. It went from the hip to the back because the hip bone is connected to the back bone. And the back bone is... Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Anybody hear me? Don't let life make you get over one thing and replace it with another. Tell somebody. I got a cousin who's on drugs and he don't do drugs no more but now he can't put down alcohol. So he put down the alcohol. See, the thing about it is he won't admit his, what, sickness. And my sickness is I won't let God be who God's supposed to be so I, 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 I can be the God that I'm supposed to be. So even if somebody knocks on my door, I'm not afraid of it because I am in the image of the one that created all things. I can do all things through who? God, who strengthens me. How did God strengthen me? He made me just like him. I am created in the image of a living God. And when you come out of your sickness, you are simply and wonderfully made. You're invincible. You are not afraid of anything. And when you're sick, what you scared that sickness is going to do? Kill you. But the ultimate healing is living without the pain of this earth. Anybody hear me? Amen. Living without the pain of this earth. You can do what you want to do to this earth. I had, I had, I had a numbness in my leg. Because I'm revealing and healing others, the devil said, let me, let, me, let me stop putting emphasis on that leg because the more I make him hurt, the more he's going to preach. Amen. So he tried to shut me up by getting out of the way, leaving my leg. I know I got blood clots all up and down my body. But guess what, mother? I'm preaching through the sickness. Come on, somebody. I know I got blood clots going. It, it can hit my brain any time, and I can have an aneurysm. But if I have an aneurysm, you know what? Slob it all. I'm going to say, thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. Because I'm closer to where I want to be. I'm closer to where I want to be. Amen. Y'all receive the fight and accept the fight. If you don't know everything, the part that you don't know, you're sick. This is my doctor in my area of weakness. I'm her doctor in her area of weakness. Never did God say, when you are weak, Jesus is strong. When you are weak, the God I put in Mary Lee will come and revive you if you listen to it. You, do y'all know why? Who has to really take care of sick folk? Huh? Doctors get sick. Nurses get sick. Yes, we do. So what you got taken care of you is also sick. Am I him? Amen. Come here, doc. Gene, come here. Rattlesnake. 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 I'm sorry. Rattlesnake, cold. Mm. Do what y'all do. The rattlesnake bites me. Mm -hmm. Then I go talk to the cobra to heal me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Y'all hear me? Anybody hear what I just said? The rattlesnake bit me, and then I go talk to the cobra to heal me. The rattlesnake is a what? Snake. The cobra is a what? Snake. And when I God, you are what? Snake. So God said, when the rattlesnake bites you, deal with the rattlesnake, and he'll give you anti-venom. You can't get anti-venom from a rattlesnake from a cobra. <laughs> Anybody hear me? Huh? So whatever made me sick is what God want me to go back to. Anybody hear me? I made you sick to get to be the watch this to be the anti-venom for somebody who thinks they sick like you thought you were sick. But y'all want to go from one snake to another, huh? You better deal with that snake that bit you. Huh? And you become the anti venom For those that have been bitten by that snake, let them know that even though this snake bit me, I still yet live. Huh? But instead of going to the one who's going to make you the anti venom you go to another snake. And our life is tore up because we go from snake to snake. Snake to snake, mother. Anybody hear me tonight? Amen. The secret is don't run from your enemy. Love your enemy. Mm. Don't, love, don't, don't, don't run from your enemy, Dick, because when you run, man, let me tell you what Deacon Joe did. What he did. Deacon Joe, let me tell you what Bishop told me. See, the snake is a snake is a snake is a snake. Go to God. And like, let God give you the secret of why Deacon Joe did it. Let God give you the secret. I let Deacon Joe do it to see if you were going to come to me or go to another snake. Mm. You coming back. I already see it. See, he's going to be here more than you if you ain't careful. Praise the Lord. Everybody hear me? Amen. So who are you going to with your problem? This is your, this is your vineyard. The spirit of Jesus is where God put you to grow. Amen. And you can go anywhere you want to go. Huh? But you know what? Y'all can call that lady mama all day long. But y'all know your mama. Mm -hmm. Anybody hear me? Uh -huh. Y'all go to all the churches you want to. But you know where you get fed. Amen. Anybody hear me? Amen. But then your pride will make you keep listening to that snake, thinking that snake gonna give you something that only the one, the vineyard that God put you in, you can get your nourishment from. The secret is, I showed you today with Deacon Will on the floor. All that God gives me, all that God brought me out of, he'll bring blue in the dope right at the nick of time. All that God gives me. All that God brought me out of. God said you can't get in till you go back and get what made you sick me. Your enemy is made you what made you go look for God. You can't get in. I done brought you out, I done signed you up, and now you you ready for help. And you walk up there and they and look, 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 I don't lie no more. I don't cuss no more. I don't steal no more. But he said, but there's one thing. Mother Mary Lee had a problem with this one thing. He said, there's one thing. You got, you got to go back and forgive that what made you sick me with all your heart. That's right. That's right. There's one thing you got to do. Right. Yeah, I have made you heaven ready. But you can't get in until what I use to make you heaven ready come with you. Come on now. Secret, saying that's, right that's, that's, that's the secret. He said, Pray for one another Come on now. as I am praying for you. Yes. In other words, the day that I the day that I gave you life, you came in with a prayer. Come on, somebody. Yes. And when that prayer hits you, you'll know that there's no doubt that God's grace got you. When that prayer hits you, you know there's no doubt that I'm living because of the mercy of God's prayer. Yes. There's no doubt. Come on, somebody. Wavering faith, the one 
free from snake to snake. Wavering faith will run me from snake to snake. But the biggest snake of all is myself. I am the snake that tells me that I'm always right. I am the snake that tells me no matter what I do, I'm going to find a way to make it right. But God says when you want to be healed, when you don't want to see the pain, when you understand the pain wants to make you figure it out. Come on, somebody. But I tell you right now, God said you are right. But I work best when wrong. God said he works best from those that will admit they're sick. Those that admit they're wrong. He works best. This is the secret, everybody. Yeah. And the biggest, and, and, and when, when, when I'm wrong, and wrong, and wrong, guess what's not happening when things don't go right? You turn yourself in the right, and you start saying God is wrong. Mm. I'll do it myself. I'll do it without him. I don't need him. And guess what happens when you get sick? Huh? Huh? You kill yourself. You gotta heal yourself. Hey, hello, somebody. You kill yourself instead of healing yourself. Because when you're sick, what, how, how do you do it? You focus on others. You take away the power of the sickness. You focus on the weakness of others, and you don't. And you take away the power of the sickness. Pastor, this is something. And her bike was still with the same pain, but you didn't know it because her focus was on praising God. Come on, somebody. When you are, when you're, when you're out of focus, when you're focusing on God, and you ever notice something? When you do get well, you don't even know when it happened. Anybody, 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 anybody knows that? When you do get well, you don't even, you just start doing the normal, no, you don't even know when it happened. Anybody know what that tells you? You were never sick. You're always well. So you take away the Satan power. So you want me to say I'm sick? So I'm sick. Now watch me get well. Because guess what? There's no sickness in your life. My life, her life, your life. That's unto death. Death is being without who? God. There's no sickness that's going to take you to a place where you're without God. Except you admit, admit that you're sick and then tell God, I don't want you because I know I'm sick. I'm sick on purpose. I'm sick on the purpose of God wanting to meet me. Hear what Jake said earlier? He said, God isolates you. He isolates you. He isolates you. He makes you sick. So the secret tonight is what? I am sick. I say, everybody repeat it. I am sick. sick. Yet healed. I am sick. I am sick. Yet healed. Yet healed. When I'm sick. When I'm sick. And I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying. I kill everybody else with condemnation. I kill everybody else with condemnation. Anybody hear me? But when I'm sick. And I yet healed. I uplift those not worried about myself. I'm on somebody. When I'm sick and yet know I'm healed, I uplift those that don't know that they're healed while they're sick. And you can't do it without going to the place where you're going to be nurtured. Otherwise, you're just running from snake to snake. And then you'll take the advice of this snake and the advice of that snake and then you'll make this snake do the snake. Do the snake, y'all. Do the snake, y'all. Do the snake, y'all. Anybody hear me? Snake to snake. If I'm not going to God, I'm going to another snake. Anybody hear me? I am healed. You are healed. And I'm going to... I'm going to... I want you to hear this. Y'all can see this. I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with this. 
my children, what y'all on earth? My kingdom is your kingdom. Dead stuff don't live with God. I told you it's not what you do. It's not what you look like. Your, your, your spirit resonates through your attitude. When your spirit is not operating right, I know Satan is feeding you. When your spirit is operating right, I know God is feeding you. But if your spirit operates right sometimes and wrong, wrong other time, it's always Satan. Mm, my God. Anybody hear me? Amen. Amen. Your spirit speaks through your attitude. I love you, Mother Mary Lee. I love you, Mother Mary Lee. My mouth said I love her, but my spirit said I don't. Your spirit speaks through your attitude. My kingdom is your kingdom. I am what? Nourishing you daily. I am nourishing you, nourishing you where I put you. What does he put us? Always in the light. Daily. Always in the day. I am nourishing you daily. I. 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 What, Mother Mary Lee? I gave you life. God said, I gave you life. So don't you try to take the life that I gave somebody else away from them because you don't know I gave you life. So you add to the life of others. Now I'm going to give you a chance to be with me or not be with me. I have forgiven your trespasses so you can be with me and forgive them or not be with me and not forgive them. I have forgiven your trespasses so you can. He said, this is something you can do, but you don't have a choice in giving life. You're a snake if you ain't giving life. Because a snake come to kill, steal, and destroy. I've forgiven your trespasses so you can forgive the trespasses of others. Didn't he say, that, was, that what you was in? I was only setting you up to use you. I have delivered you from temptation. By what? Leading you into purpose. Leading you into purpose. That's what, that what I allowed to tempt you was only preparing you to be purposeful for him. That which I allowed to tempt you was only preparing you in that area to be the ministry in which he needed you to become. So don't worry about living. Worry about what? Loving. Don't worry about living because as long as I have no love, I always live. Amen. But if I'm focusing on living, one day I think I'm going to die. So don't live to love. Rather, love to live. The secret is that you're sick yet healed. You're sick yet healed. So you tell the world the secrets of God. But when God gives us a secret that's going to embarrass us, we hide. And when we hide the embarrassment, we hide God. We hide the work of who? Come on now. Are we all right? So if your back hurting, you know what? Tonight, say, Lord, let it hurt for the next three days because I know right now I have surgery tonight and I'm in what? Recovery. If your side hurting, I'm just going, I'm all old, Pastor Lisa. Just tell me you in, you in what? You in what? Recovery. Sciatic nerve, or you in what? Recovery. God performed a surgery tonight. If your mind messed up, you in what? Recovery. You got three days. Three days. Amen. Trust God with all your heart for the next three days. Yes, Lord. Yes. Next three days, help people yes. while sick. Yes, yes. Help people while sick. Yes. Even when you ain't getting paid, Pastor Nisa. Yes. <laughs> Anybody hear me? Amen. You hear that, you hear that Deacon John? Help yes. people while sick. Yes. Let them know, though I don't feel good, it's only because I'm in the recovery room. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. I'm sick, but yet healed. Yes. Everybody bless tonight. Yes. Everybody bless tonight. Yes.
Yes. Amen. 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 I don't know what God's gonna do tomorrow. I don't know who's gonna preach tomorrow, but I know who I know where I'm gonna be tomorrow. Amen. Amen. This is a secret revival, and the secret to being healed, Paul Harvey said, tomorrow you can get the rest of the story. Somebody said, well, I don't got mine. And God said it took two nights. It's going to take what? Two nights. If God said it's going to take two nights, it's going to take two nights. You can think you got it all tonight. Ain't nothing like a half baked cake. You hear me? Amen. I'm tell you what's working. Anybody know what the worst thing you can you can eat that's half cooked? Huh? Fish? That dog no fish. That fish. You, you, you ever had? I had a group the other day and they didn't cook it all the way through. And you got down in the oh, see some of y'all like sushi. I don't like sushi. You like sushi? Be blessed, my brother. Be blessed, my sister. Be blessed wherever this life leads you. Let me encourage you. Let me speak life to you. You can depend on God to see you through. You can depend on me to pray for you. You might be hurting. You might be worrying. You might be worrying. frustrated too. Let me encourage you. Come on, somebody. That you, I pray for you, you, you. you they cost a dollar twenty nine cent at the store. You, who, you, who. That's how if the first lady did that tonight, I said, man, I'm gonna give you you whoever did. Everybody blessed tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give a pop or a hand clap for that word. Amen. It was an on time word. Amen. When you are sick, you've got to know where to go. Amen. When you are sick, you got to know where you need to be. Praise God. And I'm going to tell y'all, y'all don't need to be here tomorrow. Amen. And invite somebody out. Praise God. Because don't keep what God is doing to yourself. Amen. You got to share what God is doing. Amen. So I encourage everybody to invite somebody out tomorrow night because we're going to experience a mighty move of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. I want everybody to stand up on your feet. I didn't want you to stand up on your feet. Praise God. Yes, yes. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I need you to stand to your feet if you can. My God, my God. And if there's something that you need for God to do tonight, I need you to come up here. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we praise you. Yes. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need my praying saints to start praying. Amen. I need my praying saints to start praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is going to heal hurt. God is going to heal hurt. It's hurt that you're dealing with. And God said, I'm going to heal that hurt. In order for that hurt to be healed, you've got to seek me. If you seek me, I'll take care of everything else. Everything else that you need, I got. Everything that you need, I got. But you got to seek me first. And watch I line up everything else. God said, you ain't got to live with that heavy heart. God gave you, you the type of person you always have a smile upon your face. And God said, I made you like that for a reason. So the devil wants you to be hurt. The devil wants you to be sad. But we decree and declare that the day that you're going to have joy. That you're going to have joy. I keep joy over your life. In the name of Jesus, God says, speak me first. Fix me first. And watch how I fix everything up for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the door being open right now. In the very name of Jesus, we thank you for giving all our heart's desire. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. God said, you want more, I'm going to give you more. Continue to praise me. Continue to praise me. Continue to praise me. God said, I can do every, anything but fail. God said, I have not left you nor forsake you. It's been hard sometimes, but I've still been right there. It hurts sometimes, but I've still been right there. God said, you hold on to my unchanging hand. And watch how I bring you out of the situation that you're in. Watch how I set the people, set you apart from the people that you are around. God said, I am going to give you your heart's desire. Seek me. Praise me. Believe that I can do the impossible. God said, believe that I can do the impossible. You want better. God said, you want better. If you want better, you got to do better. And all you got to do is give your life to the Lord. You got to trust and believe that God can do anything but fail. It is by your faith. You are made whole. It is by your faith that those doors that you want open to be open. God say, put your mind on me. Don't worry about nothing else. Put your mind on me. And watch what I bring you through. God say, I see how you've been upset. I see how people have hurt you. I see the disappointment. But God say, I am right here. I am right here. It don't matter what no devil in hell has told you. I am right here, and I love you, and I love you enough to bring you out of whatever you in. I love you enough to bring you out of whatever you in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give God a head clap of praise. Because he's coming out. Give God a head clap of praise. Because he's coming out. God said, I'm making you new. I'm making you new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we thank you for giving him his heart's desire. Start every gift that's inside of him, God. Lord, we thank you for doing it right now, God. Give the heart and the mind that serves you, God. Oh, we thank you for the healing. Oh, we thank you for the healing that's going to take place. God say, I'm healing you in such a way that you won't be lacking nothing. Better when God heals you, you won't be left in nothing. There is nothing that God is going to withhold from you. You get a complete healing from head to toe. And when people think they're healing, they just think in the body. God said, I'm healing you spiritually, financially. God said, I'm giving you a complete healing. Hallelujah. You got to know where to come for your healing. You got to know you got to come to God for your healing. God wants you to come to him for your healing. Hallelujah. God, stir up her dreams right now. God, stir up her dreams right now. Let her see the gift that you have given her right now. Let her operate in that gift, God. There's such a great anointing on this woman of God. So let her operate in the spirit right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for your anointing, God. God, we thank you for bringing her out right now, God. God, we thank you for restoring joy right now. In the name of Jesus. God said you're going to be walking up the people. 
and laying hands on people. And the sick shall recover. The sick shall recover. You got to believe it. That's what God is going to do in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said you ain't here by accident. God said I have kept you and I will continue to keep you. Keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on me. Don't worry about what the enemy is saying. Keep your eyes on me. Continue to trust me. Believe that I can do the impossible. Believe that I can do the impossible. God said by your faith. Believe that I can do the impossible. It can't be your granddaddy's faith. It can't be your mama's faith. It got to be by your faith. You got to believe the impossible. You got to believe that you are healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Anytime you feel a pain, you say, I am healed. Anytime you feel discomfort, you say, I am healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I buy any word curse that's just bumping over this child. Hallelujah. I thank you for the anointing. Hallelujah. Stop and sit as a young child right now in the name of Jesus. People are trying to be negative over your child. You buy that in the name of Jesus. Every time I come to church, I pray for them because I know the enemy is trying to speak negative over them. The enemy wants you to believe something. But God said, trust me. Believe me. Don't believe them. Believe me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the healing of our past. Lord, we thank you for every bone being lined up. Every organ being lined up. Lord, we thank you for the pain being removed. Lord, we thank you that our body is lined up with the word of God right now. And we bow the head of the enemy. It is our clean spirit that's trying to attack our body. You got to loose your hold our five anointed daughter. You got to loose your hold off of her right now from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. You got to loose her. 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 Hallelujah. I decree a healing. I declare a healing. God says he needs to have some radical faith. You got to have some radical faith. God say, trust me enough to know that when you lay down at night, you can wake up uh, pain free. God say, trust me enough to know that you ain't got to live another day in pain. God say, trust me enough. Uh, trust me enough. Uh, trust me enough. That's what he needs y'all to do, saints. He needs you to trust him. You got to know that you can trust God. And God got to know that you can trust him. He wants you to 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 trust him. him. God say, open up your mouth and tell me what you want and mean it when you say it. God say, open up your mouth. Tell me what you want and mean it when you say it. God say, open up your mouth. Tell me what you want and mean it when you say it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to heal. God is going to heal. God is going to heal. God can come all over to me. Every last one of them. Every burden that you have. God, anything that you feel, God say, turn it over to me. Anything that you know is not of him, turn it over to me. God say, turn it over to me. Because I want you to know who's in charge. I want you to know who is going to help you. I want God wants you to know who is going to bring you out of that dark situation. God wants you to know who is going to move on your behalf. And it ain't going to be family. It ain't going to be church. It's going to be God. It's going to be God. God said it's going to be God. God said it's going to be God. 
Oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil ain't got no business huh, touching with my mom. The devil ain't got no business huh, attacking her health. Huh. We are too anointed huh, to let the enemy huh, try to take her out huh, before her time. Huh. She is going to be healed huh, from the crown of her head huh, to the soles of her feet. Huh. Any pain got to go huh, right now in the name of Jesus. Huh. God, anything is not like you. Uh, we can create and declare uh, that it got to go uh, right now. Uh, you got to loose your hold. You got to loose your hold. Oh, God's anointed. Now, when you got to loose your hold, oh, for God's anointed. Uh, we decree uh, when she lay down, she going to have sweet slumber. There won't be no pain. There's not going to be an ache in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, if you believe that he can do it, give him a hand clap of praise. 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 Clap of praise. God, we thank you for continuing to cover him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, God. God, we thank you for the things that you're doing in this life, God. God, we thank you for this man of God. God, we thank you for continuing to keep him, God. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. I want to tell you something, Bishop. Tonight, I said I was going to have somebody read a scripture. God is so good. The scripture that I was going to have somebody read was the scripture that you preached out of. So I know, huh? God is talking to you. I know uh, God is walking with you. I know uh, there's an anointing on your life. Uh, and you better not let no devil in hell uh, have you anything different. I need everybody under the sound of my voice uh, to fall to your feet, uh, praising God. I need everybody under the sound of my voice to open up your mouth. Because you have victory tonight. You are healed tonight, sir. You are set free tonight, sir. You are set free tonight, sir. You are healed, sir. You are healed. You came in sick, but you're living out healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now, Lord. Everybody put your hands this way. We thank you right now, Lord, for the power that you have given to all of us through this vessel, Lord. A vessel that you have poured into. And what you poured into him, Lord, he poured it all out for us. We thank you right now, Lord. He goes through what he goes through, Lord, because he, he leaves everything. He leaves everything. He gives everything. He leaves nothing behind. What God tells him to give. Restore him. Restore him. Let him know. He's in a season of preparation. He's in a season of preparation. We give you we give you glory. We give you honor, Lord, because you have blessed us through him. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hey. I know there's at least, at least one. God said, anybody want to give their life to Christ tonight, stay right here. Anybody want to rededicate their life to Christ tonight, stay right here. If there's one that wants to rededicate, if you want to give your life or rededicate, the altar, come to the altar right now. Come to the altar right now. Come to the altar right now. I'm ready to, I'm ready to do it for real. If you're ready to do it for real, watch those that are up here for somebody. Watch those that are up here. Watch what God is getting ready to do. Watch what God is getting ready to do. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God. We thank you, Jesus. Anybody else? Would there be anybody else? Say, Lord, I want more of you. Come right now. Lord, I want more of you. Come right now. Praise the Lord. 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 Are you emotional right now? Are you really want God right now? Are you emotional right now? You really want God right now? Are you emotional right now? You really want God right now? 
Because when you're in the courtroom, they ask you, are you under the influence of anything that's going to make you make this decision? I want you, I want you free. God, give God your mind. I want you free. Lord, I want you. Lord, I want you free. I want you free. And when you're free, guess what? I don't consider the things of God. I do the things of God. That's right. That's right. Amen. My God, my God. That's right. Yes, Lord. Ask God, ask God the simple questions. Ask, you, you serious about this? You serious about this? Ask God the simple questions. And if you can't answer the simple questions, you don't know he's got control of the rest of your life. Lord, do you want me to go to church tomorrow night? Simple questions. Lord, do you want me to come to church on Sunday? Simple question. My Lord, my Lord. Lord, do you want me not to cuss this person out? Simple question. My God. And if you can, if you, when you start answering the simple questions on a regular basis, now you know he's doing the complicated one things in your life. Oh, yeah. That answer the simple questions. See, we scared to ask God the simple questions. Because we want to do what? We want to do it. And tell God we love him. You can't love God doing it your way. Huh? You might, you might as well go get a what? No, you You might as well go get a you. <laughs> Anybody here be serious about this? I'm gonna see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow? Yes. Oh, you get at me Huh? Yes. All right. Everybody bless you. I'm trying to get my neighbor Hallelujah. Would you do that me, Father? I believe Jesus died on the cross. And in fulfillment of the scripture, on the third day, he rose. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father for me. Father, I believe that Jesus died on the cross and in fulfillment of the scriptures. On the third day, he rose and, and is sitting at the right hand of the Father for me. Amen. Father, I believe that Jesus died on the cross and in fulfillment of the scriptures. He died on the cross and is sitting at the right hand of the Father. For me. For me. Say for me. For me. For me. For me. So now you know that you do everything else for others. There's nothing you have to do for yourself. Come on now. And you said, you said, and you said. Thank you. If you really mean that. These doors open, you're gonna knock them down Amen. so you can find out how to Amen. do it. See, we, we ask God, we repent. We repent and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. But then we go at and, and we forsake. But you can't forsake without God teaching you. This is where you learn how to what? Forsake. You can't, we always we, we say the repentance prayer. Forgive me, that part is easy. But not doing it again is the problem. Because I won't let God teach me how. And this is where we learn. This is how we learn. I don't care how long or how many times we do do it again, we still keep coming back to learn. When they gave you F in school, and I got a few, they didn't kick you out, did they? Hello, somebody. As a matter of fact, they sent the truant officer to your house and you didn't come back. <laughs> Huh? So if you make the F one day, come back yes. and continue to learn. Have, yes. That's where your faith comes in. Yes. I know that God's going to do it for me. Yes. I know that he's going to do it for me. Yes. And God's going to try your faith. Yes. He's going to put you in a position where you can't help but do what you don't want to do. The things I want to do, I don't do. He said, I'm going to let you do what you don't want to do to see if your faith is real. I don't need faith when I can when I can do what I want to do. Yes. I need faith when things ain't going the way I want them to go. Can I still serve God? Yes, 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 yes. 
gossip when you can do it that way, then he know you know that Jesus has already done it for you. Be blessed. Amen. 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 Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. God is speaking. God is speaking to somebody in here tonight. And God is telling you a seed to sow. God say, sow that seed tomorrow. God say, sow whatever God is speaking to you tonight. Do it. God said because there has been a curse spoken mm. over your finances. And I'm here under the anointing of the Holy yes. Ghost on, to tell you that that curse shall be broken if you obey what thus say the Lord. God say I've been stirred up in your spirit and you already know who you are. God say sow that seed tomorrow and believe and know that that curse is broken. Yes. God say his people shall not be busted and disgusted. His people shall have life in that more abundantly. Let me tell y'all something. God don't want y'all broken down. God don't want all of us poor. God has called us to be better than that. Yes. Hallelujah. God has put us in a position to be better than that. Yes. We cannot let the enemy huh, beat us down financially. I'm going to tell y'all something. I have gone through something lately that I've never been through in my life. My but I'm going to trust and believe God. Hey. Whoever God is talking to tonight, huh, please be obedient Talk to what to God is telling you. Because God say, watch. Talk watch how. Watch how that curse is broken. Yeah. And watch how finances are going to come from the left and the right. From the left and the right. You not gonna understand it. But God say I'm doing it. Hallelujah. God say I'm doing it. Whoever you are, you make sure you pray tonight that you are hearing what God is telling you. Because tomorrow is going to be a new day for you. Tomorrow is going to be a new day for you. Yes, Lord. God say in your obedience, tomorrow is going to be yes. a new day yes. for you. Glory Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Glory to God. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God for this revival. Amen. How many of you are blessed tonight? Praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. Y'all put something in my spirit, amen, um, since last week when I'm saying, well, God, why? Why this the, um, isn't happening and why this isn't being released? And is it me, God? Is it me? Something's wrong with me? Why I ha can't have this fulfilled? Or why isn't this manifested? Is it me? God said, what are you talking about? It's me. It is me. I'm the one that's holding some things up that you don't need to be a part of. You wondering why some things not happening in your life? God don't want you a part of it. You trying to push your way forward. God don't want it in your life. You trying to hold on to it. God don't want you to have no dealings with it. But you said it trying to hold on to it. You said it trying to seek it in the flesh and in the world. And God trying to pull it away from you. You better let go and let God. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless you, God. What a mighty move of God in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. I know if I done made somebody mad or if I done offended myself, amen, they my pill bottle, amen, in the spirit. I need to go for my healing right now. I'm not calling Walgreens for my prescription. I'm going to call somebody that I offended, amen. And I'm going to say, well, come on, let me talk to you. Let me reconcile with you. Let's get this thing under subjection, praise God. Because yeah. my healing lies in you right now. And you going to release my healing. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. 